boys and dolls. <laughs> the bacon is frying and almost done. And looks like Flakes is very hungry. She's looking at her bottle. Oh. Here you go, sweetheart. You can eat breakfast first. The toast is done. Oh, the kettle is done boiling our hot water. So now we can have some morning coffee. I seriously cannot function without coffee. I'll pour me a glass and I'll pour dad a glass. Yes, please, because it's going to be a long day. We have to head to the airport in about two hours, honey, because we have to catch our flight. My mother is really excited to meet Flakes. It's her first time meeting our new baby. I'm glad the girls are going to be able to take a trip to grandma's before Christmas. I know, I can't wait for Flakes to meet grandma. Okay, here is your cup of coffee, dear. Why don't we make a toast to morning coffee and our first family trip? Toast! Cheers! Cheers! A trip to grandma is always fun. And this is gonna be Flake's first time on an airplane. How exciting! <laughs> Careful not to burn your tongue, it's really hot. <laughs> gonna blow on it before I drink it. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm so glad that we woke up an hour earlier so that we don't have to rush. I always like having a relaxing morning breakfast. I agree, for once we're on schedule. Good thing that we packed last night so that right now we don't have to worry about packing our suitcases. And I'm so glad that we managed to find a doggy babysitter for Earl at the very last minute. Uh, honey, I think he wants some bacon. <laughs> No, Earl, this is human food. It's not for dogs, and you just ate this morning. He is a little trickster. He wants an extra meal this morning. Whoops, speaking of which, I should pay attention to the bacon. I better move it around and flip it so that it doesn't burn. Don't want the bacon to stick to the pan now. Okay, looks like it's almost done. <laughs> Here, do you want some attention? Here is a face rub, good boy. But you can't have any bacon this morning because I only made enough for the family. Plus, you already had breakfast this morning, Earl. <laughs> you can't be eating two meals in the morning. You'll be chubby. Are the girls still packing? Girls, are you upstairs? Come down for breakfast, please. We better start eating our breakfast now so that we'll have time. We have to head to the airport soon. Girls, come down for breakfast, please. Snow Angel, freshest. Okay, bacon is done, and I'll also make some eggs. It shouldn't take me too long to make eggs. It'll be fast. The bacon took a little longer. Girls, come down for breakfast, please. Mm, these bacon smell so good. I made it perfectly. It's nice and crispy. Here, let me give everyone a piece. Thanks, honey. They really smell good. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. Luggage is so heavy. I already finished packing last night, but then I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget anything, so I opened up my luggage to check, and when I opened up my luggage, I couldn't close it again. I spent all morning sitting on it, and it finally closed. Note to self for the future, don't open your luggage if you've already closed it and zipped it up. Ugh, ugh. Oh, we have two luggage here. Who's the big luggage and who's the smaller one? I'm going to guess that the big luggage belongs to mom and dad has the smaller luggage. Am I right or am I right? Okay, I got an egg here from the fridge. I'll make some sunny side up eggs. And yes, the bigger luggage is mine. Your father always packs light. Almost there. Luggage is so heavy. Uh, Crack some eggs. The eggs should cook really fast. Wow, you do have quite a big luggage, dear. See, my big luggage is because it's also stuff for your baby sister as well. Because I really want to play in the snow. I always have so much fun at grandma's playing in the snow. And then maybe we can go skiing. I packed all my snowshoes and all my snow jackets. Ugh, my stomach is growling. I'm hungry. <laughs> Smells good. Good morning. I'm ready, mommy. Da -da 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 -da. I can't wait to be on an airplane, and I can't wait to see Granny. She always makes us the best pies. And I packed all of my stuff in 
my backpack here. I'm all ready. Can we go? Can we go? Can we go to Granny's now, Mommy? Daddy, can we go now? Uh, no, Angel. We haven't even had breakfast yet. Have a seat. I just finished making the eggs. You can have yourself some toast and some bacon. Oh, but I don't want to eat. I can't wait. I want to go to Grandma's right now. I know you do, sweetheart, but it's going to be a really long flight and you're going to be hungry in a bit. So we're all going to eat breakfast first before we head to the airport. <laughs> no, Earl. Down boy, bad boy. And if we don't eat our bacon, it looks like Earl is going to eat it. Okay, breakfast is served. We have toast and eggs and orange juice and bacon and some yogurt. Plus, for you girls, milk. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. On the airplane, I'm sure that we're going to be fed lunch, but we're going to be hungry if we don't eat breakfast. And also, remember, before we head out, make sure that we packed our tickets and our passports. Okay, I'm going to cut some eggs and some toast. Mmm. Mmm. So good. And now I'll try some bacon. Mmm, that's so crispy. Mm. Mommy, when we get on the airplane, can I have window seat? I want to sit by the window seat. I hope Granny makes us some delicious pie when we get to her place. Mommy, the bacon's really good. It's really crunchy this time. Can I have another one, please? Thank you. Oh, Mommy, when we get to the airport, can we go to the gift shop and look at some of their toys? I guess we could do that if we have time, sweetheart. But first, we have to eat breakfast. This is why we woke up early, so that we can eat breakfast and be extra early at the airport. Mm -hmm. This toast is really good, too. Mm -hmm. Goes well with the eggs you made, Mom. I finished my breakfast. Someone's at the door. Huh? Why, who could it be? Is that lights? She's early then if she's here already. Coming, coming. Good morning. Hey, guys. Good morning, lights. You're early. We weren't expecting you yet. But come right on in. We're just having breakfast right now. Would you like me to get you anything? Early? I'm not early. Uh, aren't you? Because we weren't expecting you for another 30 minutes. What? I'm not early, girl. I'm actually late. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Earl. We're gonna have a splendid fun time, aren't we? <laughs> morning, you guys. Have a great trip, you guys. Don't worry, he's in good hands. <laughs> Snowlicious, so sorry that I'm late. It was so busy at my store this morning, you wouldn't believe it. Thank you so much, Lights, for babysitting Earl for us while we're going on this family vacation to visit Grandma. But what? Don't apologize. You're early. You're not late. Uh, what? No, you guys, I am late. Don't you guys remember? Today is daylight savings, so the time went ahead for an hour. What? Say what now? Yeah, didn't you guys check the time? Wait, what time is your flight? Are you guys going to be late for your flight? <gasps> Oh my gosh, we forgot about daylight savings. The clock went ahead by an hour. We lost an hour. <gasps> oh no, that means that we have to get to the airport right now. Otherwise, we're going to miss our flight family. Girl, thank you. What would we have done without you? Thank you for reminding us. Okay, everyone, stuff whatever eggs, bacon, and toast in your mouth. We have to go. Oh, I hope we're not late for our flight. Okay, family, we have to go, we have to go. Oh, I better go grab my jacket. Okay, I'm back with my jacket. Come on, family, put your eggs and toast and bacon, whatever you're holding in your mouth, because we have to go right now. Thanks again, Fly, for coming over and helping us to babysit Earl while we're away. Um, if you need us, we left our contacts on the fridge there. Okay, come on, let's go, family. Uh, I guess I'm in charge of carrying the luggages since your mom left without them. Coming! Ugh, gotta carry this luggage. Oh, bye guys, have a great trip. Say hi to Granny for me. Hmm, they were in a hurry. Oh, why look at this breakfast. Oh, there's still so much food left, they didn't get to finish it. Well, Earl boy, 
We're gonna have some fun right now already. Would you like to have breakfast with me? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> Dig in, bon appetit. <laughs> this is perfect. I was so rushed this morning that I didn't even get a chance to eat breakfast myself. Mm. Oh, wow. This bacon is so crispy, oh, so good. I wonder if they're going to miss their flight. Well, we'll find out in the next episode, so make sure you guys come back. Oh, it is my pleasure. I have been so excited and waiting for this. Is that my new grandchild? Oh my, 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 come to grandma, sweetheart. Oh, you do have your mother's eyes and your father's lips. Aw, oh, don't cry, sweetheart. It's just grandma. Sorry, Mom, it's been a long flight, so she's just a little grumpy right now. Oh, of course, of course, and she's probably also jet-lagged. I'm so glad that everybody made it here safe and sound. And I can't wait to spend the week with my favorite grandkids, when she's probably cranky because she's hungry, aren't you now? Oh, she is so darling. Now don't think that I have forgotten about my other grandchild. How are you, Snow Angel? And how are you, Freshes? Ugh, ugh, such heavy luggage. Hi, Grandma, we've missed you. Oh, I've missed you girls so much. And look at you, you have grown so much taller. How, oh, how does the time fly by? Grandma, Grandma, I miss you every day. Smell. Something smells really good. Oh, why, that reminds me. I made your favorite pies, girls. <gasps> no wonder it smells so good. Grandma, I want some. You make the best pies. Well, I know you shouldn't be eating too much sweets, but I know how much you girls love my pies, so I made some pies and cupcakes. Oh, cupcakes? I never tried any of your cupcakes before. I made some muffin cupcakes. But they're not done yet. Oh, they smell so good, Grandma. Can I have one right now? <laughs> these are not quite done yet, sweetheart. We still need to make some frostings to put on these cupcakes, which I think it'll be fun if we do it together. Oh, 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 I want to help. I want to help. I can help you with that, Grandma. Oh, let me get the pie and show you what I've made. Here is your favorite apple pie. Let me cut you a slice, darling. Now where is that knife of mine? Oh, here it is, and a fork. Let me cut you girls a slice. Freshes, you've been very quiet over there. Would you like some pie, sweetheart? Pies and sweets should be eaten while they're fresh, and these just came straight out from the oven. Snowlicious, Ronnie, would you two also like a slice of pie, dear? Let me cut you a slice. Don't be shy, don't be shy. There's plenty of pie to go around for everyone. <gasps> oh, thanks, Grandma. Mommy, look, I got a big slice this time. It looks so good. I'm going to eat it right now. Nom, 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 nom. Ooh, I'm just going to sit on the couch here. Oh, Mom, did you just buy this sofa? It's really comfortable. <sighs> and I better feed flakes. I'm going to sit too. Oh, I think I could take a nap. <laughs> it's been a really long flight. I am tired. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, hi, Snow. How are you? Do you remember me? Oh, she does remember me, Grandma. Look, look. And that's why people say that cats have really good memories and that you should never make them angry. Otherwise, they'll remember. It's been so many years, and yet Snow still remembers me. Wow, Mom, I love what you've done with the place. I love the new decor. It's beautiful, this living room. Oh, and I love this sofa. Oh, oh, don't cry, sweetheart. Oh, don't cry. I know, you must be hungry. Looks like Grandma knows best. Grandma was right. You were hungry. Here, I have your bottle right here, sweetie. Don't cry, don't cry. I'm just going to make sure that the milk is not too hot or too cold. Oh, slowly, slowly. Oh, my poor baby. You must have been so hungry all this time. Okay, eat up, eat up, sweetheart. Poor Flakes wasn't able to eat much on the airplane. It was her first time on the airplane, so I think she felt a little nauseous. 
But now that we're at grandma's, she's really eating a lot. Hmm, looks like it might snow. Uh, I'm done my pie. Can I have another slice, please? No, sweetheart. You haven't had dinner yet. You'll ruin your appetite for dinner. No more pie until after you've had dinner. Oh, but pie is so good. Maybe I can have more pie for dinner? You've been awfully quiet, Freshus. Would you like some pie as well? I can cut you some pie if you like. Here, wait right here. Let me go cut you a slice. Okay, no, no. It's okay, Grandma. I don't want any pies at the moment. I don't feel so well. I feel kind of nauseous. And my eyes are all hot. Your eyes are hot? Oh no, that does not sound good. Meow. Oh no, Snow is running away. I guess she didn't want to just sit on my lap anymore because I'm too hot. I hope you're not coming down with the flu or something. We better check. Come here, darling. Put this in your mouth. Say ah and hold it there for a minute. Oh, this is kind of cold. Feels kind of weird. How long do I have to have this in my mouth, Grandma? Okay, let's check. Oh my, 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 you have a fever. Why, you know, this is the time of the year where everybody catches the flu. It is flu season. Sweetheart, you are sick. Uh, it's weird because my eyes feel really hot and my face feels really hot, but my body feels really cold. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to be sick. I came here so that I can play in the snow. <laughs> oh, my eyes are so hot. I don't feel so well, Mommy. <gasps> oh, dear. My poor little girl. This entire time on the airplane, we thought you were just sick because of the airplane. But it looks like you must have gotten a cold or the flu. Oh, my poor baby. Here, let me feel your forehead. Oh, my. It is hot. Oh no, you are not going outside, young lady. You are going to get worse. You'll be staying indoors for this trip. Whoa, looks like it's snowing outside. Yes, I was hoping it would. So that we can go outside and build a snowman, this was what I wanted to do as a family together. Sweet. <gasps> it's snowing, it's snowing, mommy. Can we go outside and build a snowman and make snow angels? Quiet, sweetheart. Your baby sister Flakes just fell asleep. I guess she finished eating and now she wants to take a nap. Alright, let me just put her in her crib and rock her a little here so that she'll sleep more peacefully. I don't know how I can go outside. I have to watch over your baby sister. Shh. But mom, we have to go outside and play together. You said you were going to show me how to make a snowman and a snow angel. Mom! Snow angel is right, darling. You don't have to worry. Grandma's here. I can watch over the newborn baby and freshes. You all go outside and play now. Oh, great, Mom. You're a lifesaver. Well, I guess if Mom is watching over the girls, I can go outside. Hmm, but I'm wearing stockings and a skirt. It's cold outside. Mm-hmm, I don't want to get sick, so I better go change. Let me get my luggage here, and I'll change to something warmer. That way, when we go outside and play, I won't get sick later. Wait, what? Everyone's going outside to play? Oh, but I want to go outside too. Oh, so cold and yet so hot. Why, young lady, you are not going anywhere. You need to lie down and take off this jacket. Oh, it's all wet from the snow earlier. Come here, lie down. You need to rest, young lady. You're sick. If you get better quickly, you can go outside and play once you're better. And I'm going to go make you some porridge. Oh, it's so cold. I'm going to wrap myself in a blanket. Oh, this feels nice. Maybe I can just take a little nap. <sighs> hey, wait for me. I'm going outside. Wait, wait, sweetheart. Let's take off your backpack. That way you won't have to carry this while you're making your snowman. Oh, good idea, Grandma. Thank you. Why don't you make a snowman right in front to protect the house? Okay. A 
Okay, I'm back. This is so much warmer and I look so cute. I haven't had a chance to wear these pants since I bought them and this jacket is just so cute. And this hat really keeps me warm. Come on, come on, mommy. Let's go outside and play together now. Okay, okay, let's go. Bye, mom. We'll be back in a bit. Bye. And as for you, sweetheart, I have some porridge here. You need to eat this so that you can drink your medicine. This will be easy to swallow. Especially when you're sick, it's very important that you must fill your stomach. Mm. It does smell good and I am hungry. Thanks, Grandma. Here you are. Careful, it's a little hot. Thank you. I'll blow on it for a little bit. It's really good and it's easy to eat because it's porridge. Mmm, yum! Oh, look at Mom and Dad and Snow Angel. They're outside having fun. Why do I have to be sick right now? It's not fair. Oh, look at all the snow. Wow, it's so fluffy, the snow. We can make a snowman. We can make 10 snowmen in all this snow. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, look how fluffy the snow is. This really brings back old memories. I used to run around like this in the snow all day. <laughs> My boots just sink into the snow. Mommy, Mommy, do you want to make a big snowman with me? Grandma said that we should. That's a fantastic idea, sweetheart. We can all make a snowman together as a family. Oh, perfect. It stopped snowing. Oh, it's so nice and cool out here. And now that it stopped snowing, we'll be able to make a snowman more easily. Okay, everybody, let's team up and make the bestest, biggest snowman ever. All right, I am on it, honey. Roll the snowman's body here. Oh, 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 girls, look what I have. A big, gigantic snowball. Here I come. I call for a snowball fight. <gasps> a snowball fight? Uh-oh. We better run, Mommy. Run. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Oh, no, he's catching up. We better run. <laughs> ah, Daddy, no, no. You can run, but you can't hide. Make a snowball too. <laughs> Watch out! Ha! Whoa, run, run! Mommy, Daddy, where are you running to? I made a snowball. <laughs> ah! yeah! Oh, Snow Angel, she got me, she got me. My glasses, my glasses. <laughs> well, you started it. And it looks like she got you right in the eye. Oh dear, how are you going to be able to see with snow on your glasses? Here, let me wipe it off for you. Well, I can still see out of the one eye, but I prefer to be able to see out of both my eyes. There, honey. All clear. Oh, thanks, dear. Yeah. Oh no, I let my guard down. <laughs> I got you too, mommy. I got you too. Now we can make a snowman together. Let's make a big one. Huh. No fear. They look like they're having so much fun and here I am having to stay inside because I'm sick. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> I love the snow. I want to make a snowman too. Oh, we just have to make the head now. And we need to give him hands. <sighs> I wish I could go outside, but I have to be inside eating porridge. <laughs> I'll eat this porridge and get better so that tomorrow I'll be able to go outside and play in the snow. Are you done eating your porridge, sweetheart? Because I brought you some medicine. Here is also a glass of water as well. Can't drink medicine on an empty stomach. Otherwise, you'll have an upset stomach. Oh, uh, medicine? Do I really have to drink this, Grandma? I think I feel better already. And I don't like medicine. It's so bitter. <laughs> Why, I'm right ahead of you, dear. I have this lollipop for you so it won't be bitter. Now hurry quickly, drink your medicine, and then you can have this lollipop. Mm. Oh, all right. I'll drink my medicine then. 
Drink the whole thing, dear. Don't leave any drop behind. You want to drink all of your medicine. Ugh, it tastes like socks. Ew, yuck. Okay, gotta drink some water. Ew, ew, ew. I can still taste it, Grandma. It tastes yucky. Here, 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 dear. Playing outside for quite a while now. It's starting to get dark. Yeah, we better go back inside. Otherwise, we might catch a cold. I agree. Let's go inside. Close the door. <sighs> Looks like Precious is fast asleep. She must have drank her medication and it knocked her out. Oh, it's so nice and warm now that we're inside. I want some hot chocolate, Mommy. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, and let's go check on your sister. Whoosh, but we have to be quiet. Your big sister's asleep. Grandma, I love coming to your place. I want to come over all the time. Well, you are welcome to come visit anytime you like, sweetheart. Uh, so warm. Yeah. Mmm, something smells good. <laughs> it's because we're having bacon this morning. Your favorite. Mmm, bacon, my favorite. Haven't had those for a while now. Nothing beats a fresh batch of coffee in the morning to wake me up and a good newspaper and some bacon. Are the girls awake yet? It's almost time for breakfast. Oh, and the newspaper says that there's a big sale going on at the mall today. I have to head to the office for a little bit, but maybe after I come home, we can all go to the mall together as a family. Good morning. Oh, I'm going to watch some morning cartoons. I got you the TV first because I woke up earlier than Big Sister. Mm. Oh, this looks good. I'll watch this. <sighs> this is all the noise. Are you watching cartoon in the morning already, little sister? Mom's gonna tell you to turn off the TV any minute now. <sighs> I'm can use and while sleep. My best friend Hoops Cutie is gonna be out of town going on a family vacation for a while. So, I'm not going to have anyone to hang out with this weekend. But she hasn't left yet, so I'm just going to call her and see if she's done packing. Oh, I hope she picks up. I want to talk to her before she heads out on her family vacation. Oh, looks like I'm getting a phone call. Who could it be? Oh, it's Cherry Baby. Hey, Cherry Baby, what's up? Hello? Hey, who's Kitty? Are you done packing yet? Are you guys gonna head out soon? Yeah, I'm still packing right now. I have so many jackets and so much stuff that I don't even know what I should bring. And our flight leaves tomorrow morning, so I have to finish packing by tonight. Too bad this trip is a family vacation and you couldn't come with me. It'd be fun if you came along too. And if you were able to come along on this trip, then you would be able to help me pack. My room's a mess because I've been packing for hours. Oh man, you're so lucky you get to go on a family vacation. I wish I could go on a family vacation too. And the best part is you get to miss school for a whole week. I'm so deadless. Are you gonna pack your swimsuit too? Is it gonna be a pool in your hotel? I'll be checking your Instagram. I can't wait to see all your vacation photos once you post them. Rosie, are you watching cartoons in the morning, young lady? It is time for breakfast, girls. Please come get seated. The bacon is almost done. I'm just gonna cook, quickly cook some eggs here. All the girls like their eggs sunny side up, so does dad. Okay, breakfast is almost ready. Cherry baby, Rosie, please carry your sister Poppy into the kitchen. It's time for breakfast. Oh great, looks like the toast is ready too. Toast goes perfectly with our sunny side up eggs. Oh, Poppy, are you playing with my oh. Elsa? OMG, you won't believe who just moved in next door. It's Robbie. Can you believe it? Robbie is my neighbor. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, later maybe I'll go outside and see if he's outside. Would it be cool if we became friends? <gasps> Poppy, are you playing with my Elsa? No, 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 no. You can't play with my Elsa. No, her hair's already messy. No, you can't play with Elsa, Poppy. Hello? Hello? What's all that noise behind?
behind you. It's so noisy. It's so hard to hear what you're saying. Oh, it's just my sister crying. Rosie, just give Poppy Elsa. Otherwise, she's gonna cry. It's my sister. They're both just fighting over a doll. I know, right? <laughs> Kids. Don't cry, Poppy. You just can't play with Elsa because she's my favorite doll. And you break all of my dolls in the legs. We'll find you something else to play with. Like, um, how about this? Isn't this pretty? Don't you want to play with this keychain and this, um, whatever thing you want? See, Poppy, isn't this so much more fun? Here, you can hold this. Aren't these keys fun? So much better than playing with my Elsa, right? We can play with my Elsa when you grow a little older. That way you're not breaking her arms and legs all the time. She's my favorite doll after all. Girls, breakfast is ready. Come to the kitchen, please. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. For breakfast this morning, we have toast with eggs and bacon and waffles. Come on, girls, hurry. Your breakfast is gonna get cold. Good morning, Daddy. I'm here. Mmm, bacon smells good. Hurry, sis. Oh, wait for me, wait for me. I had to carry Poppy. Thank you, Rosie. I'll take Poppy here. Thank you for looking after your little sister for me all morning while I prepare breakfast. Now you can go grab a seat, sweetheart. Okay, mommy. Eat up, fam. I'm gonna just have eggs and toast because bacon is so oily and I don't want to break out. I don't eat bacon no more. Mmm, so good. Are you sure you don't want to eat any bacon? They're really delicious. So yummy in my tummy. Mmm. Yeah, thank you. I am so much healthier now. Maybe someday when you're a teenager, you'll understand. Mm. If I can't eat bacon, then I'll never want to be a teenager. Yuck! Oh, Rosie, you're still you're such a child. That's what a kid would say. But I'm so much more mature now that I'm a teenager. I'm not a child, and didn't you just start high school this year? You're not that old. Okay, girls, girls, please, please. It's too early to be fighting right now. And please drink your milk, girls. Aw, uh, Mom, I'm not a child. I always drink milk. If you're such a big adult, then why does Mom still clean your room for you? Well, at least my room isn't covered with dolls. Girls, girls, what did I say about fighting? Please don't fight. It's too early for that. And sweetheart, if you don't drink your milk, you're not going to grow taller. Calcium is a great source for the bone to grow, which will help you be taller. Oh, I do want to be taller, so I'm going to drink lots of milk. <laughs> oh, Poppy Sweetheart, why are you crying? Why are you being so fussy today? You've been crying all morning. It's okay. Shh, it's okay, sweetheart. Honey, I can't believe you have to head to the office today. I thought you would be able to help me out with Poppy and the girls so I could take a vacation today, too. <sighs> oh, my friend Hooski is calling. It must be an emergency because she's going on a vacation with her family soon, so she must have something important to tell me, Mommy. I have to pick up this phone call. Hi, Hooski, what's up? No way! He's outside right now? What should I wear? I'll be right outside right now. Cherry baby, please hang up your phone and finish your breakfast. Oh, let me go put on my jacket and I'll be right off. Thanks for breakfast tomorrow. It was delicious. Bye. Oh, we probably shouldn't have bought her that phone. There's a new boy that just moved in next door and Big Sister has a crush on him. What? A boy? And how do you know this, dear? Oh, I read her diary. Oh my, look at the time. I'm gonna be late. I better head to work now. Okay, but come back soon because I definitely will need the break with the girls. Alright, I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye, Bye Poppy. Bye. Hopefully, I'll be back before the mall closes and we can all head over to the mall for a nice family day. To the mall? Can we go right now? Please, 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 Daddy. Please don't go to work today. Aw, oh, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I have to go to work, but I'll be back soon. And then maybe afterwards we can go to the mall and get some ice cream. I'll see you later, family. Bye, dear. Thanks for breakfast, Mommy. I'm gonna go outside and see Daddy off. 
Wait, did you finish your breakfast, dear? Did anyone finish their breakfast? <sighs> I spent all morning making this breakfast and nobody really finished all of their food. <sighs> Literally story of my life. And now I have to clean this all up by myself. Okay, I'm gonna shake now. Are you sure that you saw Robbie skating around? Because I don't see Robbie anywhere. Oh, no, I see him now. <laughs> Wee. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's just skating right outside in front of my house. Maybe by the time that you come back from vacation, he'll be my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to start talking to him though, so I have to figure out a way to get his attention. Hmm. Oh, I know what I could do. I could put on some makeup and do some yoga. <laughs> One foot. Easy peasy. Alright, I am off to work. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. I'm off to work. Mwah. Dad, don't kiss me in front of the boy next door. It's so embarrassing. Right, right. Gotta act cool. How about I just pinch your cute little chubby cheeks here? Oh, bye, sweetheart. Daddy's going to work. Daddy, don't be embarrassing. The boy next door is looking. I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm a big girl now. I'm a teen now. All right, all right. Well, I have to head to work. You help out your mother. Bye, Daddy. Come back soon. I oh, hope you come back early from work, Dad, so that we can all go to the mall and have a family day. Yeah. Well, I'll try my best and be back as fast as I can. Bye, girls. Bye, Daddy. Have a good day at work. And come back home soon so that we can go play. We always have family day on the weekend. Okay, okay. Bye, girls. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Great. Now that Dad's left, I can put on some makeup without getting in trouble. I have my powder here. Got to powder my nose so that... It's not sparkly and part of my face. Okay, now a little bit on my nose. Ah, achoo! Achoo! Ah, the powder made my nose itchy. I sneeze. Okay, now some blush on my cheeks. And now on the other side too, so that it's even. And then just gonna freshen up my eyeshadow. This color really makes my eyes pop. Are you wearing makeup? Mom and Dad says that you're only allowed to wear makeup on special occasions. You're gonna get in trouble later. Well, Mommy and Daddy's not here, so it's okay as long as you don't tattle, little sister. And also, it is a special occasion because I'm gonna be talking to the boy next door. Wee! <laughs> One foot. Okay, Poppy, you stay here. Yes, you can make a phone call to Daddy and call him at work. Hopefully, you can ask him to come home early, even if it's a pretend phone. Okay, I better put the milk in the fridge so that it doesn't go bad. Mm, there. And close the refrigerator. Okay, time to get on our yoga mat and do some yoga to impress the boy next door. I'm ready, let's do some yoga. Some of the stuff I'm gonna do might be really hard, so you can just try to follow along as best as you can, little sister. Okay. First, we're gonna do the bridge. You just gotta go all the way back and really bend your back and try to touch the ground. I don't think I can reach. Oh, oh, I can't do this. You mean like this? I did it. It's pretty easy. Okay, now we just have to stay this way for... 20 seconds and then next we're gonna try to do the splits oh so hard my legs they just won't go down i thought i could do the splits but i don't think i could do it okay i just cheat like this this is close enough i can do the splits easy peasy Ta-da! oh man all these dirty dishes and cutleries to wash Cherry baby, please water the garden. Oh, at least I can see the girls from here. Okay, let's wipe down this table here. Make sure it is nice and sparkly and clean. Almost done. There, nice and clean. Looking good. Oh, maybe this spot right here. Don't want to miss any spot. 
<gasps> Look at all of this mess. There's toys everywhere in our living room. No, no, no. This will not do. What a mess. I will need to clean this up. These girls are leaving their toys lying around everywhere. <sighs> I definitely need a vacation after this. What's the use of having a toy box if all your toys are not in the toy box? So let's start putting all of the toys into this toy box here. <sighs> there are so many toys. Sorry Elsa, you have to be under the piano. And now to vacuum the carpet. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to vacuum carpet because it's sucking up all the carpet itself. Okay, looking nice and clean, almost done. <sighs> all done! Okay, it looks nice and clean now in the living room. Oh, Poppy, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. You must be starving. Here you go. Here is your bottle of milk, sweetie. Eat up, eat up. Whoa, you drank all of that so fast? Oh, you must have been so hungry, my poor baby girl. Well, let's get you burping here. Come on, burp for mommy. <gasps> no, I said burp, not barf. Oh, no. My poor baby girl, are you sick? Oh, she must have drank so fast that her stomach wasn't able to digest fast enough. Oh no, look at all of this. It's on my clothes. Oh, smelly, smelly. I'm gonna have to take a shower. Ew, it's dripping. Oh, my skirt, it's ruined. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We've been doing yoga for a while now. I thought you said that this is gonna help you talk to the boy next door. But he hasn't even looked at us. Oh, I wonder why he's not looking. He just keeps skating back and forth. And we've been doing yoga for so long now. <sighs> I need a rest. Are you okay, big sister? Cherry baby, Rosie. Can you look after your baby sister Poppy for me, please? I need to go take a shower. Poppy puked all over me. Oh, pee mommy. So stinky. Yeah, you definitely need to go shower. Don't worry, I can watch over Poppy for you while you go change and shower. Thanks, dear. Please watch over both your sisters and I'm just gonna go change and shower. Oh, come on, Poppy. Stop crying. I don't know why she's crying so much today. Poppy just won't stop crying. <laughs> Hello, my name's Robbie. I just moved in next door. Your little sister sure is crying a lot. Do you need any help? I really know how to make babies stop crying. You do? How? Would you like to be a flying butterfly? Here are a lot of flowers and you can be a flying butterfly. <laughs> is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a butterfly flying above beautiful roses. Oh, I almost forgot. Mom told me to water her garden earlier, so I can also spray some water on the flowers too. And I'll spray a little on Poppy. <laughs> Careful not to spray us. Huh? I'll try, I'll try. I'll just spray you a little bit. See, your baby sister isn't crying anymore. All she wanted was to be a butterfly flying above these flowers. This is what I do at home with my little baby sister too. Wow, it really works. Poppy, stop crying. Yeah, my baby sister is also the same age as your baby sister. And my mom's always making me babysit her. So now I'm a pro at making babies stop crying. Wow, it's just so cool that you have a baby sister too. And that you're so good with babies. Yup, they just like to fly around and it always works, makes them laugh. Oh no, Daddy's home. She's gonna be so embarrassing. And Robbie and I just got to talking. Why does Daddy have to come home right now? Hey girls, look who's back. Okay, just gonna back up the car here. Daddy, you're back, you're back. Now we can go to the mall and play. Okay, parked. Hi, girls. Poppy puked all over 
Yeah, mommy. So mommy had to go take a shower. So big sister and I are watching over Poppy. Uh, hello. Hi, sir. Nice to meet you. My name is Robbie. I just moved into the house next door. Poppy just wouldn't stop crying earlier, but Robbie managed to get her to stop crying. Is this the boy that you like? The new boy next door that we've been hearing so much oh my about? Gosh, Dad, not so loud. He's gonna hear you. Hi, Robbie. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for looking after Poppy. By the way, did you know my daughter's not allowed to date yet? Oh, Dad, you're so embarrassing. Why would you say that? But I really appreciate you watching over Poppy for me. No problem. Uh, I, I better get going now. I've done my shower. <gasps> Honey, you're back! Perfect timing! Now we can all go to the mall as a family! Yeah, I guess they didn't really need me much at the office, so I was able to come home really quickly. Okay, well let's all get into the car, family. Come on girls, we're going to the mall! Hopefully we didn't miss out on all the good sales, and afterwards we can even get pizza and ice cream! Oh mom, I need new shoes! And I want pizza and ice cream! Yeah, let me just take my jacket! Put on your seatbelts, girls. Okay. Got it. Okay, well, let's head to the mall as a family. Can we also go to the pet store? I just finished the math homework. Has any of you guys started on the English homework yet? Oh, it's done already. I'm not even done the science homework yet. Well, I'm really good with math. I can help you if you like. I can't believe we have to read chapter 1 through 6 and also write a long essay. I'm just going to type out the essay because I don't want to handwrite everything. Oh, are you going to type it out? Because I prefer to write instead of typing it out. Freshness, are you okay? You've been really quiet this entire time. Do you need help with anything? Wait a minute. Freshness, are you sleeping again? We're supposed to be doing our homework together. Don't fall asleep again. Oh, she's hopeless. I woke her up like twice already. Okay, now time to start the math homework. What? What? Did, did someone call my name? I'm awake. I'm awake. Is it raining outside? Hi, girls. How is homework going? Oh, looks like it's starting to rain outside. You know what? Come to think of it, the weather forecast did say that there was going to be a thunderstorm today. And since it's Friday today, since you girls still have homework to do, why don't you all just sleep over? Because you can't go home in a thunderstorm. Sleepover? We haven't had a sleepover for a while. That would be fun. Thunderstorm? I don't like thunder. I don't want to go home in a thunderstorm. Yes, going home in a thunderstorm is not safe and I don't want you girls getting sick. Why don't I call all of your parents and ask them if you girls can sleep over tonight? I'm sure Fancy would really like that. Oh, 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 yes, 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 please, Mommy, a sleepover, you guys, it's gonna be so much fun. We can play games and talk all night, and we won't be scared of the thunder if we're together. I guess my mom heard that it's raining because she's calling me right now. Hello? Hi, Mama. Yeah, I'm inside. No, I'm warm. Yeah, I'm safe. I'm still at Fancy. Her mom said that we can sleep over because there's gonna be a thunderstorm tonight. Can I sleep over at Fancy's tonight, Mama? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, her mommy says it's okay. 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 Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Mama. Yay, I just asked my mommy and she said that I could sleep over at your house tonight, Fancy. Oh, it hoops cuties. Thank you for sleepover. I was safe with sleepover too because I don't want to walk home by myself. And the four of us can play games and be together all night. Oh, look at the rain. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. I am so down for a sleepover, but I do not want to do any more homework. Please, can my friends really please, please, please sleep over tonight? I promise, promise, promise that will be very, very good. Okay, but you girls have to promise that you'll go to sleep when it's bedtime and you can't stay up all night. I'll call your parents, girls, and ask them for permission. Since the weather is getting colder, I'm going to wear this robe. 
I liked my mommy's robe so much that I asked her to buy me one just like that. And she got me this. What do you guys think? Isn't this so cute? And it's so warm and cozy. I like wear it every night. My mommy literally says that I'm like totally her mini-me. Whoa, look at all that lightning out there. I'm really scared of lightning. Don't be scared, Cherry BB. You're inside, so you're totally safe. Okay, girls, I know this isn't much because I wasn't prepared for a sleepover, but I made you girls some tuna sandwiches. And something to drink here. If you're hungry, just let me know. I can whip out more sandwiches anytime. Whoa, it's raining even harder now. Is anybody gonna come eat with me? I don't wanna eat alone. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, let's eat now. You guys go on ahead. I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna drink some pop first. Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> so refreshing. Fancy, you're so lucky. Your mommy always makes like the best sandwiches ever. Mm hmm. Yep, these are so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real good. Fancy, are you gonna eat your sandwich? If you never eat your sandwich, can I have it? Well, you can't have mine because I'm gonna eat mine. Oh, you guys! Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? There's a bottle here and we can play a game. <laughs> I am like such a genius. We can play spin the bottle, truth or dare. Okay, we'll spin the bottle here, gather around girls. Whoever the bottle points to has to pick between truth or dare, okay? And if you pick truth, then you have to answer questions. And if you pick dare, then you have to do a dare. Okay, let's start. Ooh, looks like it's pointing at Cherry BB. Mm. Okay, truth or dare, Cherry BB? Um, um, a truth? Uh, I don't have a question. Does anybody have a question for Cherry BB? Oh, I have one. Oh, I have one. Who is your secret crush? <gasps> My secret crush? Well, that's why it's a secret. Um, do, um, oh, what do I do? Do I tell them? Oh, I'm so nervous. Um, well, I guess, I guess I do have a secret crush. I got this new neighbor named Robbie next door, and I think I kind of have a crush on him. <gasps> Your next door neighbor? Ooh, tell us more, tell us more. Well, I don't know what about him, but he moved in next door with his mommy and daddy and siblings, and he seems really nice. I can't believe I'm telling you guys my secret crush. This is so embarrassing. Ooh, this is juicy. This is like a love story in the movies. The boy next door. Right, you guys? Well, I hope you find out more about him for the next sleepover. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, not me, not me, not me. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Don't spin this way. Oh, looks like he's pointing at Hoot's cutie. I guess it's my turn to ask the question because I just went. Who's cutie? Do you pick truth or deal? Mmm, truth, I guess? Okay, truth. Mm, who is your bestest friend here? My bestest friend here? But you guys are all of my closest friends. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Okay, let me think. <laughs> it's me, right? Um, I've known you the longest. Ooh. We're in the basketball club together. Oh, come on, Hoops Cutie. You can tell them. They'll understand. Of course, I have to be your best friend, right? Because we are in so many clubs together. Remember the first day that we met in kindergarten? We've known each other since like forever. Come on, neighbor. Just tell them. We live so close to each other. And we're always on the phone together and hanging out together after school. I have to be your best friend, right? Alright, um, did I say truth? I, I, I meant to say dare. <laughs> My tongue slipped. Uh, dare, please. Okay, if you pick dare, then I dare you to do a funny dance for us. Oh, gladly. Whoop, check out this. Ha, ta-da. Oh, that was a close one. I would much prefer to do a dance. Wow, you can do the splits? Oh, you gotta teach me that dance. Yeah, I learned it from TikTok. It's really popular right now. Oh, there's so much lightning outside. Ah, what happened? Oh, the lights oh. just turned oh. off. Daddy, the new storms. I hate the new storms. Did somebody turn off the light? Is it a prank? I'm scared. It's so dark. Oh, what happened? 
happened? What happened to the light? Hey girls, hey girls, calm down. Everything is under control. It looks like the thunderstorm just blew a circuit. Looks like all the power in the whole neighborhood is out, but don't worry, daddy's on it. I'm sure it'll be fixed soon. During the meantime, why don't you girls use this flashlight? Oh, it's a power outage. Do we only have one flashlight, daddy? Is it gonna be fixed soon? Well, your mommy and I are sharing the other flashlight, so you girls can use this one. And don't worry, I am sure it's gonna be fixed soon, honey. Okay, I better go check on your mom and baby sister now. Okay guys, I guess we don't have light for the meantime, but don't worry, we have this flashlight. Well, since we have this flashlight, it's the perfect time to tell scary stories. I heard this story on the radio a while ago. I like ghost stories, but I get scared because there's a thunderstorm and it's dark. Okay, but I'll just hide behind the pillow. This is so cliche, scary stories during a thunderstorm. You girls get scared so easily. Honestly, nothing scares me anymore these days. I don't get scared easily. Okay, so the story is, on a rainy day like this, a girl and her boyfriend take a trip down Lover's Lane for a little night of kissing. And they keep hearing warnings on the radio about a man that escaped the mental Iceland who has a hook for a hand. He is big on a He sounds like a dangerous man. I hope they will be okay. <laughs> the thunder is really scaring me. Well, the radio was warning people about the man because he had escaped from a mental institution and the story scared the girl. So she was trying to convince her boyfriend to take her home because she could feel the car shaking and she heard something outside the car. So finally, her boyfriend took her home and they didn't see anything, they just headed home. But when they got home and opened the door... Ah! Oh no, oh no! I hope the man doesn't get them! Was the man waiting outside? Ah! The thunder! Oh, that scared me! Well, when they got home and opened the door, there, on the door, was a hook! So the man was outside of their car the whole time and they had escaped! So scary! Okay, bedtime girls! Ah! <gasps> oh no! The scream! Now your baby sister is crying! <sighs> the light came back on! Girls, 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 calm down! You're making your baby sister upset! It's just me! I'm just wearing a night mask because I'm getting ready for bed, and you girls should too! <sighs> it's just my mommy, you guys! Mommy, we were telling a scary story and then you walked in with the scary mask, so we got scared. Oh, I see. Well, the good news is the power is on, but the bad news is that it's time for bed. Get ready for bed, girls. I'm going to go wash off my mask now. Okay, guys, I guess we better get ready for... Hey, wait a minute. One, two... Where's Freshest? <laughs> Precious? Is that you under there? Are you okay? I thought you said that you don't get scared easily. Are you scared by my ghost story? Uh -huh. well, what? I I I'm not scared. I was just checking um, under your blanket for something. <laughs> don't worry, Precious. If you're scared, it's okay because we'll be here to protect you. Um, I'm not scared. Okay, guys, come on. Let's get ready for bed. Oh, it's nice and cozy. Good night, guys. The thunder is really loud. It's really scary. Kind of hard to go to sleep with all of this thunder. Yeah, I don't know if I can go to sleep. It's really noisy. And I do have to admit, it is a little scary. Who's oh, cutie? Are you asleep? I'm kind of scared. Me too. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep all night. Yeah, I guess we'll be staying up all night together. Hi girls. It's still raining really hard outside. So don't worry, I got you girls covered. I have a night light here so that it won't be so scary. And over here I have a stereo to hopefully drown away the noise of the thunder. We'll just set it down over here on this side of the room. 
and I'll turn on some nice relaxing sleeping music for you girls. That way you won't be hearing as much thunder. I mean you'll hear a little bit of thunder but this will help you girls fall asleep. Oh the music is really nice. It really helps. Thank you fancy mommy. Thanks mom. This is perfect. I was kind of getting scared of the thunder but this music is so soothing. It'll help me go to sleep. Good night. Of course. Good night, girls. And if you need anything, don't hesitate. We're just down the hallway. Sweet Good dreams. Good night, Mom. Good night, Miss Fancy. <laughs> Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way, when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.